Hello all you beauty people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So obviously you can tell by the title down below we're going to be doing my favorites for January now that February has started. So I definitely want to go ahead and dive into some of my favorite products that I've been loving this past month um, and see if we have some of the same stuff. So if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, I appreciate you stopping by and watching. I post videos probably two to three times a week. Um, all about beauty, lifestyle, vlogging, fashion, fitness. I do kind of it all, so I don't really try to put myself into like one certain area niche, but a lot of it is more beauty driven. So if this is something that you are liking my content, or if this is a video that you like and you are liking my content, I would appreciate it so, so much if you would, um, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you probably want to. Um, but in general, let's just go ahead and get into this video. But before that, you know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D. And let's just go ahead and get started. Just to kind of start off, if you guys are wondering about the look that is on my face right now at the moment, I actually recently filmed a video over this. I'm kind of doing a bulk filming this week. I did like three videos yesterday, two videos tonight, so that will put me at like five videos to have ready to go in my um, in my pocket. So when I'm ready to post, I'll have videos for this week and next week because I know going into this weekend, which is Valentine's Day weekend, where to stab my hand, um, it is going to be extremely busy at for work for me since I do work in the restaurant business. Um, but yeah, this look is kind of just like a full face of full makeup, of new makeup to me. Um, whether it's new at the actual stores, Ulta Sephora, or it's just new to me that I recently purchased that I haven't tried out yet. So definitely go ahead and check out the video. I'll link it down below or also put it in the end cards for you to go ahead and check out. But the lip color that I'm wearing is the Laura Lee Los Angeles in Jaybird. This is just a very beautiful color for sure. If you haven't tried out Laura Lee Los Angeles, you definitely should. I have a full review over my first time trying her products. Um, again, I'll link that down below for you as well if you want to go ahead and check that out. But let's just go ahead and dive into this video talking about some of my favorites for this month. So starting off with skincare, I recently got this in an Ipsy um, subscription and this is the Pixie Hydrating Milk Serum. I literally have been using this every single day since I got it. I have it right here on my shelf so when I come into my beauty room either if I'm winding down um, I will put it on my face if I've already washed my, my makeup off and everything like that or I'll also hydrate with this in the morning before I actually start putting on my makeup as a pre-moisturizer serum before I do primer and foundation and everything else like that. So this is just, I love the Pixi Milky line. This and the um, Milky Hydrating Mist Spray are so, so good. Like you just can't go wrong with this, especially for a girl who has very dry skin like I do. Jeez, um, I definitely need a lot of hydration. I try and drink as much water as possible, but again, that doesn't always work for me. So. I have to do a lot of other things for my skin and that definitely is one of the first things which is moisturizing. Um, another skincare item, if you are a female like me and around that time of the month you start getting those breakouts, you know what happens to all of us ladies. Um, these have been very handy during that time. These are the Blemish Patches by Hanahu. Um, I actually get these at Walmart. They are $2.50 a pack and every single time I see them I try at least grab a few of them if I know that I'm running low but for a while Walmart was like out. At least the Walmart by my house. I guess I never went to the one out north to double check but I'm not going to go out of my way just to get these um, because they're just super cheap and affordable but these are my favorite ones. I've tried some other ones out that I got from Amazon when these were sold out. Um, but these have just always been my tried and true um, blemish patches. These are the non-medicated hydrolonic spot treatments. They protect blemishes from dirt, debris, and infections 
blends in with the skin for daytime or overnight use and reduces inflammation and redness and gently absorbs the impurities. So it's definitely going to go ahead and pull that out and put it to the surface. Um, just kind of like how the picture is here on the back. And you do get 36 patches. You do get, um, it, it says you get the small ones and then you also get the large ones. So definitely if you're looking for that type of blemish patch, I would definitely suggest this one for sure if I haven't talked about it before on my channel. Now, the primer that I've been using the most of this month is going to be the Touch and Soul No Problem Priming Water, which has the flower water and oil complex, which are mixed together. Again, like I told you guys, I have a very dry skin, especially right now. It is winter, and my skin is even drier than normal because it is so cold outside. Just the other day, it was like negative six whatever like whatever the windshield said it was supposed to be it's like it, the windshield said it was like negative six outside so it is freezing it has been snowing today it's been snowing off and on this whole entire past week or so so i just need an extra hydration again um to add to my skin and i like using this oil for my primer and then moving on to our face a little bit. So I don't know if I've talked about this before um, in a favorites video or not but again i got this from one of my subscription boxes this is the Trezik um color and contour cheek stick in brazilian bronze so super duper cool packaging the way that it is again you just go ahead and put it on and then you're able to go ahead and blend it out what i love about this is it has a brush on the bottom to help you go ahead um and smooth that out onto your skin and it has just this packaging is just so innovative like first off that's magnetic and then this part just kind of pops off and then you can put it right back on but that is what that looks like. And then for eyeshadow, I've actually been really diving back into the original Jack and Hill palette by Morphe. I've been using it a lot, especially this one shade that's in here for my inner corner. But I've been trying to like use it as much as possible. You can see I've kind of dove into a few more of those shades um, recently just trying to get my use out of it because these palettes have so much to offer but I remember I bought this this is actually the original one like the original formula not the reformulated one that came out like this past year so I definitely still love 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 this and again the shade that I use all the time for my inner highlight is going to be um, enlightened which is this shade right here. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade for an inner corner. If you have this palette and you haven't tried it for an inner corner, please do it, please try it, you won't regret it. Um, and then moving on still with the eyes. So my favorite mascara for this month, if you guys haven't heard me talk about Believe Beauty, I love them so, so freaking much. Believe Beauty has a, a few clutch items in their collection. I love the um, foundation for sure that is like a tried and true one that I love definitely or what's the what's the saying it's just I love it way too much and it's very affordable it's five dollars they have another mascara that I really love which is the purple one um, and then I also recently picked up this one which is the extended lash lightening um, lengthening mascara by I believe beauty in the gold tube and this is what the wine wand looks like it is one of those silicone wands that is very um spiky but it's flat on one side and then it has spikes on the other side now what this wand kind of reminds me of is kind of like the telescopic mascara is what this reminds me of just with a bigger wand um for sure so i'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a dupe but to me it is and i like this one like 10 times better for sure so this has been a an amazing mascara because it does get in between every single one of my lashes it gives them full length and then I combined it with my waterproof mascara which gives me some volume so those two as a combination are just so clutch again this is a really beautiful mascara to try out if you have the opportunity to and then moving on to face so the bronzer this month that I've been really diving into a little bit more is going to be the Milani Sun Kissed Silk Matte Bronzer. So this is what it looks like. I've tried to dip into it a little bit more, but I mean, a little goes a long way. I remember picking this up because of Ali Glines was talking about this a lot sometime last year, maybe a year and a half ago. So that's why I picked it up and I put it back into my drawer. And now I put it into my regular everyday drawer to try and play with it some more. And I've definitely been loving it a lot this past month. And then the blush that I've been picking up a lot more is 
a fan favorite. This is Luminoso by Milani. Again, this has been a very loved blush, but I've just been loving it because it's just very neutral, that nice little peachy, and it does have a nice sheen to it, so if I don't feel like putting on um, highlighter, I really don't have to, and it still looks very beautiful on the skin, but as we talk about highlighter, the highlighter I am, have been loving, as you can see all the dust in this, is the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. It's just a beautiful champagne color. Um, again, I've been loving this one so, so much. I've been using it a lot for sure. Trying to get my use out of a lot of stuff. Again, these drawers are full. I need to do a video of like decluttering my whole entire drawer and then putting stuff back and putting new stuff in. So if the videos are interested in, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, Paige Corn does one of those videos all the time, all the time on her channel and I definitely need to do that. Last but not least is my favorite lip product. This is the Morphe 2 Flutter Glossy Lip Oil. I use this all the time. Look at this. It is like almost gone. Well, it's trying to fill up right now at the moment, but it's almost gone. I recently just bought a new backup. This is just for if you don't like how lip balm feels and you prefer something a little bit more of an oil, this also gives you a nice sheen to your lips. It almost looks like lip gloss at the same time and moisturize your lips. You definitely want to go ahead and check this out and pick this up at your local Ulta or purchase it off of Morphe's website, but this you cannot go wrong. There's multiple colors that this have, but the red one is definitely my favorite so far and it's the only one that I've tried. That is the end for all of my favorites for the month of January. I know it really wasn't that much, um, but that's definitely all I wanted to show you. I forgot to grab some hair care products. I do have one hair care product I could talk about, which I guess I could put a picture on the screen for you. It is the Aussie Curls, uh, what is it, leave-in conditioner. It's like an all-in-one. I'll show you what it is in here. Anyways, I love that conditioner so, so much. I put it in my hair after I get out of the shower, um, and I combined it with the Marc Anthony Curl Lotion or Cream, whichever one it is, I forget, um, that I use. But I combine those two together, and it just gives the most beautiful curls to my hair. Obviously, this is like third or four day hair um, but again when the curls come out they're just super nice and bouncy and luscious it makes my hair smell so so good so if you are a curly haired girl like me the two lines you definitely need to try from the drugstore are is the Aussie line which I definitely want to um, dive into a little bit more but the Mark Anthony one I definitely love for sure when it comes to the cream and the lotion and I have turned on so many friends to it so if there's if you guys want me to do like a video over like curly hair if you have curly hair like me and you guys want me to talk a little bit more about the hair care products that I use for my curly hair then let me know in the comments down below you guys know I love hearing from you I love hearing your feedback um, and what you guys want to see from my channel coming up forward so again I love you guys so so much so we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here for us but you know the gist if you like videos like this don't forget this video a big thumbs up you know it helps me out so so much don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to and I'm not sure if we've already hit that 300 mark but if we did then obviously I've got a giveaway going on if I if we haven't I'll let you know somewhere here but I just appreciate you guys so so much so again um, I never even finished that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D, and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys so, so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.